well, I'm, I'm happy to be here. This is familiar territory for me, and I'm you know, not at all surprised they invited me. <laughs> um, and uh, I, wanted to, I wanted a stool. I asked a long time ago for a stool. Could I get a stool? Jeez. Thank you. Well, for now, yeah, we'll see. Gee, you'd think that would have been easy. But it, whatever. So here I am. Talent doesn't mean anything if you're a jerk. Okay, was I a jerk? Yes, a little bit of a jerk. Um, have I worked with those people? Yes. Do I work with them again? No. Uh, and that's one of the lessons that I try to teach theater school kids, the kids who come here. Um, I don't wander into the adult world very often because I don't seem to fit there very well, but <laughs> I'm here today, so we'll hope that works out. To, to tell you some things that we think are important in theater, and they have nothing to do with acting. They have everything to do with life and life lessons. And some of them you might go, well, that was common sense. But I think as we get older, we forget. We forget some of those things. And I think sometimes we forget to teach our young people some of these things. And one of them is talent doesn't mean anything if you're a jerk. I have worked with some people who you have seen on this stage who are amazing, not local people. All the local people are not jerks. They are great. But um, once in a while, you'll run across one and you'll just be like, that person is going to work a lot of places because they are so talented. But they're going to work a lot of places one time. And that's usually what happens, especially in the live theater world, is that we are a small community. And so we will start to spread the word. Somebody will call me from Ohio and say, hey, you worked with such and such. And uh-huh, yes, I did. And you can have that person this summer, because I don't need that person. <laughs> um, so if you don't remember anything from what I say in the next seven minutes or whatever I have left, please remember, talent doesn't mean anything if you're a jerk. And I try to send kids out into the real world to have real jobs, hopefully not actors, because we all know especially recently from a car company that shall remain nameless and I shall never buy a car from. Actors are not real people, right? Chevy tells us that, so there you go. Real people, not actors. Um, I send these people out into the world to be great citizens. And we have... I always tease them. I'm always like, okay, th that's one of my 52 lessons. So any of my students who are watching, and I know there's at least one, um, the only thing you're going to learn in the next few minutes is that, yes, sometimes I wear makeup. <laughs> that's it. All, the rest of this is not going to be new to you. So one time I was, I was uh, having notes. We have notes after we rehearse a show, and we talk about what went well and what didn't go well, and one girl asked if she could go to the bathroom, and absolutely, because I, yeah, why wouldn't you let someone go to the bathroom? Um, that would be a jerk if you didn't. And we talked while she was gone, and I said to them, you know, you need to sit up close. Sit up close, because that tells people you care. And that goes, and then I always try to tell them, you know, when you get in the real world, that matters. Or you go to school, that matters. Sit up close, it looks like you care. I don't care if your friends tell you you're a brown noser. So what? You're going to get the better grade. Sit up close so that you can pay attention. And anyway, we talked about that. And the girl came back from the bathroom right as I was saying, and that was lesson number 52. And she said, oh, did I miss the other 51? Like I said them all while she was in the bathroom. <laughs> and another funny part of that is one girl just kept scooting up farther on her chair. She thought I meant like sit on the edge of your chair. <laughs> but you should do both. Sit up here. Thank you. Thank you, brave souls, for sitting up, up front. I always do it because otherwise I don't listen. So we already covered this. Don't forget, not real people. The guy who brought my stool out, probably not union or that stool would have been here. <laughs> we say this all the time, right? And I tell the kids all the time, tell your parents, leave their phones at home. 
leave them in your pocket, shut them off, because we miss things. You need to be present. Be present. I went to Rome in, in November, and I came back. I took all kinds of pictures. And when I came back, people said, what was your favorite part? And I said, oh, the forum. The forum was my favorite part. And I went back, and I looked, and I noticed I took no pictures there. But that's the thing I remembered. So there are many reasons we say no videotaping or photography. A lot of them have to do with uh, copyright laws. But for you as a person, I'm telling you, remember it right here. Remember it in your heart. Because it's always going to be better than if, when you watch that tape, which you probably won't watch. So that's a life lesson for you that I'm passing on to your children. Another one is, OK, duh. If you're not 10 minutes early, you're late. How do you deal with that? How do you deal with that if it's not your fault? You have to learn who those people are. That's what I tell the kids. If your parents are those people, you, you have to kind of lie to them about when something starts, right? <laughs> I'm telling you now. You're wondering, why doesn't she have the really cool slides back here? Why does she have construction paper that she wrote with a marker? Well, there was a deadline. <laughs> and I called and said, well, I know I'm past the deadline, but just by, by a day. Well, OK, that was the deadline. You can't keep moving the deadline, any deadline. That's another life lesson. If, if it's due the 15th, it's not due the 16th. You can't call and say, can I turn it in on the 16th? Because the deadline was the 15th. How can that work in the real world? Please, please do not enable people. If you are in charge of deadlines, be harsh. Deadlines are deadlines. Otherwise, you're going to end up standing in front of a bunch of people with construction paper. <laughs> if you make a mistake on stage, in life, anything, you're still going to have your birthday. It's still going to come around. Relish your birthday. We need to teach our children to be resilient. It's very important that you don't always win. And failure sometimes has a better lesson. And that it's OK. That you're, you can cry for a few minutes. You can cry for a day. But then you have to get up the next morning, and you have to go out, and you have to be a better person or a different person, or just realize it wasn't, didn't have anything to do with you personally, why you didn't get what you got what you didn't get, <laughs> you're still going to have your birthday. We really need to let kids know. I have some kids, they miss an entrance, and they just fall apart. And I have to tell them, you're going to learn more from that than you would from if you had been brilliant. So lastly, and second most importantly, this is two words. <laughs> And it, when my kids graduate from theater school, they know that talent doesn't mean anything if you're a jerk, and a lot is two words. <laughs> uh, I learned that the hard way in college. Uh, and my new one this year is, anyways, is not a word at all. Anyways. So anyways, thank you for inviting me. <laughs> and I hope that if you want to learn more life lessons, you will come to me, but please remember, if nothing else, don't be a jerk. Thank you. Okay, this is a jerk. I never even used it.